Hello, in this video we're going to work through this question here. So for triangle JKL, we're going to find an equation for, and in this part we're going to do A and B. Um, part A, I'm going to do it in a bit of a longer fashion and do some more deeper explanations. And, and part B we'll do kind of quicker, just using the graph and a little less um, writing out. So first thing we need to, under, to, to understand if we do this problem is what is a median. And a median is, is a line that travels from some vertex to the midpoint on the opposite side. So the median from vertex J is this pink line right here. So the equation of this line would be the line that passes through that line. So the first step in this problem is to figure out what is the midpoint of KL. And I've done that calculation right here. So I use my midpoint formula and I get the midpoint of KL is 0, negative 5 over 2, which if I look at this graph, that makes perfect sense. Okay, well that's great. So now the next step is, um, if we know that line has MKL, which is the midpoint of KL and J on it, um, we're going to use these to find the equation. Now again, this is a little trickier to do by reading off the graph, but with a little ingenuity you can actually read this equation right off the graph. But let's do this the algebraic way. If I want to find the equation of this pink line, I'm going to find the slope here. So we're going to find the slope between the midpoint of KL and J, which is right here. So we get 4, which is this value, minus minus 5 over 2, which is the Y value of here, over 1, which is the X value of J, minus 0, which is the X value of MKL. And of course, I get the slope of negative 13, sorry, positive 13 over 2, which I feel wonderful about because, in fact, this, this slope is obviously positive. So now that I have that, I substitute that in, and then I choose one of the points to sub in to find B. So in this case, I chose J, 1, 4, and I substitute that in, I do a little algebra, and I get B as negative 5 over 2, which again, I feel wonderful about because that makes sense in context to my graph. Now, I could have avoided actually all this algebra at the end had I made the observation that the midpoint of KL is actually the y-intercept. So I could have just subbed in B as negative 5 over 2 in one step there. So really important with this question is we need to know what do we mean when we talk about the median and what we mean is the median from a specific vertex is the line that passes through the vertex and the midpoint on the opposite side. So I said I'd do part B a little quicker. So here's part B. Let me erase what I have here. And we want to find the median from vertex K. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just draw that in and I can find the midpoint of JL right on the graph. So let's see, over 2, 1, 2. So the midpoint is going to be over 1. And we're going to go so over 2 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So to find the midpoint, over 1, down 4, which takes me to there. And I can just draw that line. So I can read the slope right off this graph. The slope is rise over run, so we're going to go up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the slope is 1 over 5. So if I know that the slope is 1 over 5, I know that y is equal to 1 over 5x plus b. And I'm going to sub, it doesn't matter which point I sub into here, I can sub either negative 3, negative 1, or 2, 0. So let's sub 2, 0 into this. So I get 0 is equal to 1 over 5 times 2 plus b. So with a little algebra, you get b is negative 2 over 5. Right? 1 over 5 times 2, we subtract it from both sides. So therefore, the equation of the median from vertex k is uh, 1 over 5x minus 2 over 5. Now I did that pretty quickly, so it's worth going through and kind of making sure you understand that. If you want to kind of test yourself, you can find the, the equation of the median from L and see, see how that works. On a side note, a little bit of an extended idea, there's actually some really interesting properties when you start drawing all three medians on a triangle and looking at things like where they intersect, the types of triangles that get drawn. I'll leave that idea for you to think about and possibly do a little exploration on your own. An interesting word you might want to type in um, to Google is, is centroid. Take a look. It's quite interesting. Have a great day.